welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and update 6.8 has finally hit us. Two main topics of talk. One is the new map, Hellas, which I'm not going to talk about. And the second is missile tanks. Yeah, they're still providing content. And I've been reading on Discord and listening around and, you know, people are saying that the nerf just hasn't gone enough, which I sort of said it wouldn't do anyway. And the game is unbalanced because of the introduction to missile tanks. Now, this is where I depart a little bit. Whilst 6.8 has hit us, and whilst I fully accept that missile tanks, love them or loathe them, have assisted in unbalancing the game, I don't believe the missile tanks have made the game unbalanced. I personally believe that this game became unbalanced 13 updates ago in 5.5. Now this is just my opinion, but I seriously believe what was introduced in 5.5 had a dramatic effect upon the mechanics of the game. And at first, initially, those effects were not felt, but they're now being felt repeatedly. I hear and I read and I see on the forums, on Discord, etc, etc, more people complain about poor MM, bad teams, than I do about missile tanks. That, in my opinion, is a direct result of update 5.5. When it was decided, for whatever reason, to trim down those tech trees and to effectively allow new players to rush through the tiers that had more of an imbalancing effect upon this game than any missile tank that's recently been introduced. You now have players with less than 500 battles running around in the high tiers who are completely and utterly clueless. That's number one. Number two, the introduction of bots for the first hundred battles was also a massive, massive mistake. Without certain other things going on, now don't get me wrong, I'm all for bots being introduced to allow new players to get a feel for things. But what they should have done was removed win rate calculations. Because I now see players who are, let's be honest, clueless, who have cut their mustard fighting against bots they have nice purple or light blue win rates and they really do think they know what they're talking about when they have no idea. Because you know what? Fighting against a bot is pretty easy. They generally do the same thing time and time again. They go in circles, they go this the place, they go that place, they don't react. Playing against a player is completely different. They do react. They generally don't go in circles unless they're lagging and they generally fight back. So what happened with 5.5, we had a situation whereby new players were not effectively learning to play the game correctly, and they were fighting bots, which was giving them a false sense of their own security, which as they've gone through the game, they suddenly thought, well, I'm a good player. I'm really good. I'm a unicum. I'm a super unicum. I'm amazing. And you hear them all the time. I mean, I had a guy the other day with you know, 300 battles, 71% win rate, calling me a noob. <laughs> um, you know, you don't know what you, you don't know where you're going. Ironically, he died in the first 10 minutes because it was a tier 8 match and he didn't have a clue what he was doing. You know, you're coming out sideways, rushing, yellowing, all this, all the things you do against bots, he did. And you can't do that against real players. So, whilst we there's a lot of moaning about ATGMs, and I completely understand the moaning, and I completely understand they've, you know, had a dramatic effect on tiers 8, 9, and 10, they have not had such a dramatic effect on the game as a whole. 5.5 did and continues to do so. And we are living in a very long shadow that has been cast by 5.5, which initially 
didn't really affect the gameplay. Now it does, drastically, I would say, because there are more terrible battles out there. There are more seven nils. There are more players becoming toxic because of the very poor gameplay, because they're on the losing teams repeatedly. I mean, just this week, I've had message after message in my Discord and on my YT channel saying, these are my teams normally, my teams are rubbish, my MM is rubbish. That is the effect of 5.5, guys. It's not the MM that's rubbish. It's the impact the changes in 5.5 had on the game in creating this imbalance. And it really is an imbalance. You know, gone are the days when it took you at least, I don't know, just over a thousand battles to get to a certain tier. Those days have gone. You know, you can now rush through those tiers. And you see it. And, you know, I, 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 I hate ripping on the new guys because they are the lifeblood of this game. But, you know, in war... In, in, in Wargaming's view, 5.5 was meant to curb seal clubbing. I still don't buy that argument. Let, let's say it's true. All you've done is push seal clubbing up. And all you've then done is disenfranchised not just the new players because of the grind, but you're disenfranchising some of the other players as well because new players aren't experienced. They don't know how to play the game. And it becomes blindingly obvious and coupled with that, because they think they know how to play the game, because you've given them a stupid win rate after playing against bots, they then become toxic, and it breeds toxicity. And I, I really just wish for once Wargaming would listen. Remove win rate calculations from tiers 1 to 4. Then that's it, problem solved. You should only start having your win rates calculated once you get to tier 5, let's be honest. You know, because that's when, that, that, that's really when the game starts. In, in your eyes now, Wargaming, you've removed from the game camos, HE, etc, etc, until they get to, 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 to tier 5. Remove the bloody win rate. If you remove the win rate, you, you reduce this false sense, false sense of security, you reduce people becoming toxic um, from both sides. I mean, I've seen it. Like I said, you know, you see guys with 200 battles under their belts and then not a reroll. Really screaming and shouting at veteran players. It's, it's not acceptable. It really isn't. And they do this because they think they're good and they're not because they're not playing bots anymore. Um, you know, it becomes a trauma. So whilst the ATGMs really have created an imbalance, it's only really imbalanced it in three tiers. 5.5 brought an imbalance in across the entire game. It's, it's astounding to me that 5.5 came and went, sort of. Okay, there was a lot of noise around 5.5, um, but people, you know, I've seen it, a lot of people said, oh, I really, you know, 5.5 is a great update, you know, I really agree with what Wargaming are doing, um, I really agree with the motives behind 5.5. And there are some good parts to it, don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm all for enticing and retaining players, all for that. I'm all for bots and training of players, I'm all for that. I'm all for discouraging seal clubbing, I'm all for that. But from where I'm sat, you can do most of those things quite easily. It's like when you learn to drive, okay? When you're learning to drive, you drive around in a car with an L, a red L on your car. So everybody knows that you have no idea what you're doing. You're an inexperienced driver. Once you pass your test, nowadays, you get a provisional, um, like recently passed for another year, I think. Um, and you're still treated as a learner. So, you, you know, no, no, you don't, you don't pass your driving test and automatically think that you can drive a Ferrari, you can drive a Formula One. It doesn't work that way. 
this is what happens in, in, in World of Tanks, Blitz, because you pass your test, the stupid little training grounds that you have, you roll out against your bots, and you get your 70% or whatever win rate, and now you think you can jump into the Formula 1 cars and, and, you know, and compete with the top. You're not, it's not going to happen, guys. And the, the expectation bar now is, is just set incorrectly. It really is. It's unbelievable how low that bar is now set. And it has a massive, massive knock-on effect that is more catastrophic to this game, in my opinion, than missile tanks. Because I'm telling you now, I've heard more people leaving the game because they're fed up with the toxicity and they're fed up with their losing streaks and they're fed up with their bad teams and they're fed up with, you know, watching a plummeting... It's not fun when you're playing teams like this, guys. It's not fun. And when the game starts stops being fun, people move on. And that is an impact of 5.5. It's not an impact of the missile tanks. I'm sorry, it's not. And as much as we bemoan the missile tanks, I'm telling you, their effect on the game is not as catastrophic as 5.5 was. And I know Wargaming are never going to roll it back. And I know Wargaming have a balancing act of enticing new players, retaining players and all that sort of stuff. And I know humans, we people, like our shiny things and nice purple win rates. It's a tough call. But I still believe, and I will continue to believe, 5.5 has cast a very long shadow and has brought massive imbalance to the game. Anyway... There's been replays playing in the background. They have absolutely zero, nothing, nada to do with what I'm talking about. They're just nice replays. That particular replay is by Karma to Rats of the clan TTMS on the North American server, rolling out in the rather OPVK, getting a lovely mastery. The other two were me just seal clubbing my way into tanks that I haven't played for a long time. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been my little soapbox for today. By all means, comment and everything below. If you haven't yet, press subscribe. Why don't you? It's a nice thing to do. Puts a smile on my face, costs you nothing at the end of the day. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server. And until the next time, guys, I will say my usual thing. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because, you know, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.